Hey guys, welcome back to Binding Azure Five Plus. Today is not that. It's a daily. Blue baby, apparently. I looked at Creed, but I didn't say it was Eden. It must be wrong. Sometimes it is. Ooh, Rotten Baby and Zemaligan plus um compost. And we're going to Satan, which is the same as it said on Greed Butt, but that was still, like I said, with a different character. But yeah, this is a pretty good run. I like it. Space Prime can double the amount of flies we have at the current moment, I believe. Haven't really had much experience with the Space Prime. It's nice to be able to use it. It's very rare for me. And I left the battery charge just so I could have the chance to get more doublings, maybe. I'll get to like... Ah, about eight. And two of spades is pretty good. That room might be a... You know what, I'm gonna check it. Ah, I won't. Ah, no. Wait until you see a room that looks like it's definitely gonna be the shop. Not the shop, the secret room. That's nice. That is very nice. And I can use it to turn stuff into spiders and flies as well, I remember. Which is nice, since I wasn't using that anyway. This room will fully charge my item, but that guy's fast. Yeah, I wish I got more flies on him, but oh well. So actually quite a nice daily, because Rotten Baby is a great... Okay, that's close. He's a great familiar to have. Oh, Jesus. I hate... I've said it before and I'll say it again, I hate how they can shoot immediately. Oh, I wanted to get that. That was my bad. Ooh, but that's nice. I'll have got on that anyway, as long as I didn't touch the bomb, but still, it's nice. Much appreciated. And no item rooms, and that is going to be a regular shop and not a library, which was what I was hoping for. But oh well. It's nice to be able to keep my space prime. Aw, oh, dude. That was cruel how you spawned. You, like, shot at me while I was stuck behind that guy because his creep was in an inopportune spot. So I didn't really see a way for me to get around that. But oh well, let's not get salty. And let's not even take this. Let's not take it. And save the bomb. Keep space quiet. Experimentation. That's what Isaac is good for, I tell you. Use that. Probably not gonna play that. No curses for this floor, is nice. Dude. Stop, please. Stop, please. Not guaranteed to get a deal with the devil. Since, well, I'm guaranteed to get the deal with the devil as long as I don't die on the floor. But I'm not guaranteed to be able to take one. Which is what I meant. Go in here. That's what I was hoping for, some money. Of course, it's a sticky nickel as well, though. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Now I'll use that. <sighs> Tarot cloth. Hell yeah. Sure, I'll bomb that as well. Yeah, that's that's actually really good. Plus, buy that. Two diamonds. I want to keep two spades. Actually, no, use two spades because me. But not yet, of course. I want to use two spades because stuff. Like, I'll probably get more money by the end of the run. Ah, that means I should probably go for two spades. Ah, it's difficult. And I want a bomb. Oh wait, my bad. <laughs> I want to get over there, and then I was like. Uh, let's just use this then. How would that help you? I don't know. At least having no item rooms means I don't feel the need to rush for any specific room. There we go. Now I can feel okay about doing that. Eight keys. Keep the money. Or the card that will get me more money in the future. For the future. And I still can't get a deal with Devil because of the damage I took on the first floor. Because apparently it does a full half damage, which I did not expect at all. It's more than I would have liked, I will say. Come on, there we go. Thanks, Rotten Baby. How much money is it? Single penny. There's more consumables in this room that I can destroy. Take all the money. Oh, that was the dumbest thing. I want to do that instead. Oh, I'm stupid. I pressed the wrong button. I like this room, though. The bombs are nice. But still, I'm ridiculously dumb. Should not have done that. God damn it. And I've had no tinted rock so far as well. Pin, you're not a problem. You're not a problem, dude. I'm sorry. I wish you were better. But with Rotten Baby as well, you're done. Something that would be amazing for this run, though, would be... 
uh, what's it called? Something that would be great would be a thing that I can't remember the name of right now. Do this, blow that up. It's a nice amount of money. And I'll probably still get to 99 cents by the end of the run just by that, just because of how the game works and how much money you end up getting usually. Now I can get a deal with the devil, but well, I'll be left with half a heart. Unless this gives me health, because this is most likely a secret room. Thought so. Please be half down. Range up. It's a lot of range. Something to do with health. Positively, that's good. That was an amazing room. That room was legitimately incredible. Holy hell. That is, without PhD, that's the greatest version of that pill room I've ever had. It's not the greatest second secret room I've ever had, but the greatest version of that room. By quite a large margin. Another range up. Oh, whoop de doo The void. You gotta go with the void. It's just the rules. So, might as well suck it up. Not sucking anything else up. And let's go. And as long as you're not on, like, half a heart on that room, or one heart, you're gonna be able to take the item. I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it. But yeah, I still should have kept the two of diamonds. You know what? I'm tempted to use this card right now. But I don't think it's right cool. And the mulligan, good item as well. Hadn't really noticed it. Like, I know everyone's like, yeah, it's an amazing item. I never find it amazing. But I probably poop on it a bit more than it deserves. It's it's better than I give it credit for, basically. Getting flies occasionally when shooting is really good. It's basically just extra damage. It's just because there's a better version of it, aka Guppy. Which is why I'm, I'm like, eh, it's not good. Why would you like this item? Blah. Anyways, though, this run, you're gonna wanna try get Boss Rush and Hush done. And I'm not sure why I'm greed, but sometimes it comes up with a different daily. No. I was like, should I chariot card in or out? Doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna do it out. Just in case there's an enemy. Ooh, plus I get the coin. Didn't even think about that. Clever me. He lied. But yeah, still, that, oh, that was the dumbest thing. I thought it would have shot beforehand. Oops. Uh, the moon's nice. I'm probably not going to be doing anything with my um, thingy, my bob. Now, my thingy, my bob. Oh, I got the shop. Ah, uh, PhD. You're tempting, so I'm going to take it. But I did kind of want to leave you behind. Relax. Get some poops. Shoot them quickly. Come on. Take your time. There you go. Now donate a bit of money. You gotta take Diplopia, and sure, let's let's go for something that I think will be amazing to Diplopia. Nope. Sorry. Yeah. Free. And a Chaos on top. Now, Chaos is kind of good and bad, depending on what it gives me, but if it gives me something amazing, then that's really good. You know what, suck up a Void. Void a void. I can just leave this floor now if I really want to, which is tempting. Also, my tier height is insane because of tapeworm, which is always a bit confusing for my brain, but oh well. Don't like the ragman, but the humbling bundle making this room incredible for consumables, as you can tell. And the sun, so good. This run is legitimately amazing. You know what? I'm gonna leave this floor early, so I have a better chance to get to hush later. It's a bit early, but that means I can do womb rooms later and not be like, oh god, I'm cramped for time! <sighs> couldn't get out of it. Speed was not high enough. I thought I'd be able to do it, I tell you. But I couldn't. And this probably isn't even a better um, trinket to have, but oh well. Gotta deal with the devil. It is Krampus. I do not care for you, Krampus. Oh god. Destroy that thing. No. 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 Yeah, this is... Yeah, I should have bombed that afterwards, I think. Because, yeah. This has not been the greatest Krampus fight in the world. But I did get this. And a Hierophant card. Oh, that's so good. Bomb these as well, just to see if I can get anything else. Oh, come on. Two of diamonds, sure. I'll just use it now. It should take me to 20 cents. And it did. Chariot, don't care. Take the sun. And we're out. Only about a minute ahead of schedule, which isn't incredible, but 
it's okay for what I was doing there. And now I think about it, maybe I shouldn't have taken Chaos, because that's going to make getting something like um, Blank Card probably harder to get in the future. But, oh well, that means I can get out of Devil Deals possibly, since item rooms don't appear on this run, as we have seen. Didn't get anything out of that. This is a normal road run. Uh, this is a normal mode run. I've just realised as well, because otherwise the symbol of where we've got to go would be red. So that's why we're not getting many curses. It's, it's weird not getting many curses since I always play on hard mode for like achievements. I don't need to do that anymore, since all I really need to do is item hunt. But it, it's more fun to play on hard mode because you can get some more interesting things. Then again. Same could be said for normal mode, and it doesn't really matter, but shut up. Shut up, you. I'm actually okay with this. More, than the, more so than you'd think. Oh, god damn it. That is probably more money than I lost. Yeah, it is. But still, ouch. Health doing surprisingly well on the run. I'd like to take less damage, obviously, because I'm taking more than I'd like. Quite a bit more. I'd like to take one hit per floor, at like a maximum, but that's sort of unrealistic, I guess. Second secret room. Called it. Bomb that to get half soul heart, because half soul hearts are pretty valuable, even with blue baby. Well, especially with blue baby, because it's blue baby. Blow that up. Grab all the coins, and go. See what I mean? Quick. Uh, coins, very common on runs. Magic Mush? Damn it, that would have been so good. Oh! Ouch. Ouch. They bounce differently every time, in my opinion. Do that. To get a few more things. Could have kept the... Uh, I probably should have kept the... Battery. Now I think about it. But oh well. Don't worry, you pretty little head about it. It's not the end of the world. Dude, how did you get down there? Thank you. I'm not gonna go back and look for the secret room, but thanks. Thanks for the bombs as well, they're very nice. And that's a weird spot for a second secret room to be. I'm glad I found it early. It wasn't incredible, but I'm still glad I found it. Yeah, just go. Don't have a space bar I'm charged, so I can't suck anything up if it's bad, but oh well. No. I hate having the ball on that side when... Yeah, get the ball to be behind you when he comes back. So you can actually hit him. Dude, please. I, I'm tempted to use the sun, honestly, just to be able to kill him faster. But it's a bad call. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, got him. Thank you, flies. I only assume you killed him. Yeah, I'll take that. That'll help me find the secret rooms. That's actually useful. I'll possibly help me find, like, the boss room. I say possibly, it probably will. Usually it does. Admittedly, the last boss room was in a different spot, kind of, at least, to where the second secret room was, but oh well. And I might have said the second secret room is in a different place to the second secret room, instead of saying the boss room is different, because sometimes I don't use my English well. And I'm going to go and hit... Actually, no. I was gonna go in there, but then I saw the secret rooms adjacent to it, so I think I'll go down here. And it also makes it so this room or well, down here is way more... Oh, why did I bomb there? Why did I think that was the right thing to do? Lucky rock. You're tempting. You're tempting, but I have so much money. Also, can I shoot over rocks? I can if I'm close enough, because of tapeworm. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm in the right spot, I can shoot over these. Okay, so it's basically like a pseudo spectral shot. Interesting. Oh, I have no more bombs. Ah, that's a that's a problem. That is a problem. We'll deal with it at a later date though, and damage upgrades haven't really come around a lot. I will say, so I'm glad I got the tears upgrade pills. That's sort of carrying the run right now, along with Lump of Coal. Otherwise, I'd be in a slightly worse spot. It wouldn't be like, oh god, train wreck, but it wouldn't be the easiest thing in the world. 
But oh well. Keys. I'd like bombs. Oh, it's a big boss room. Okay. Oh, bad damage. That's so probably double trouble. Not sure what it will be. Okay, come on with the spider snipes. Spider snipes. Spider snipes. Give me a bomb so I can get the tinted rock. Screw the secret room at this point. Or screw the thingy room at this point. Plus I'll get lots of money. Give me a bomb, please. Bomb, 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 ba dom ba dom Mom's pearl is pretty good. Really? I'll take Mom's pearl. But yeah, still, really. Relax. You can give me money. I'm not gonna go back for rooms. Thank you for the money, though. I'm not gonna go back. This isn't actually that bad, because I can use my range to my advantage with Lump of Coal. So it might seem awful, and it kind of is, but it's not too, too bad. To be honest, the worst one here is Loki. Because, not Loki, um, Little Horn, because he can teleport. And teleporting enemies are automatically more annoying in this game. Like, the stain versus the adversary. They're pretty bad, but... I'd rather fight... Admittedly, I'd rather fight the adversary, or the stain, so shut up me, but still. Also, a fire rate of fire, very good. Glad I got that. Thank you, Mr. Dolly. Your health, that you, well, the health that you gave me is still also really good. Yes, I opened it for free. Hemodemesis. Couldn't care. Couldn't care and won't care. Oh, come on. No. <sighs> I tried to stand still and absorb it and hoped that it would fire away from me because it shoots randomly, but it didn't work. Okay, that was a lucky kill. And I should be able to get to Boss Rush. Whether or not I'll be able to beat Boss Rush and still get Hush questionable. Also, that's a very good card to get. Especially for where I was. So thank you. But yeah. And this floor I get a guaranteed deal of the devil, which I hope we have something like Mum's Knife or Brimstone. I'd rather have Brimstone, because Brimstone benefits more from the fire rate than Mum's Knife, in my opinion. So then I'd probably be fine to take, like, Eve's Mascara, since it'll double my fire rate. But, or double it in a negative way. Half my fire rate and double my damage. With Mum's Knife, that's also really good, and I'd rather have Mum's Knife because it's better to go for speed, but still. Also, still no bombs. Not very many bombs on this run. Other consumables are up there, but bombs haven't really come in flurries. I, was, I thought it was going to give me one then. Prove me wrong. Also, I'm going the wrong way. Of course it gives me a bomb, the straw bomb. It's not gonna get a secret room brain. It's not gonna give it to you. It's not there. Okay. Sure, not bombs. I'd rather have bombs, but oh well. I'll take them, it's free. I'm okay with my points for now as well, even though I would have way more if I hadn't taken as much damage. Plus, a lot of the points have come from my consumable bonus. Come on, give it me. Yes. Can't get him with that one. There we go. No. No. There we go. Now, shop. Give me wondrous things and a re-roll, please. No, but it did give me little horn. And one third bookworm. So I'll do that. We're going to do that. And it gave me another tears up, which doesn't do anything for now, but oh well. It's good to have, nonetheless. Ah, oh, the little horn shot. So good. I haven't had a little horn for ages. I'll take that. That'll give me more bombs in the future. The other trinket is good for the health, but I want bombs, goddammit. Give me bombs. Okay, this could give me bombs. It could also require bombs, but it doesn't. Oh, thank you for not instantly vaporizing the chest. Thank you. Because sometimes... Well, not a chest. The TNT. I, why did I think the fire was the chest? I ran into the fire thinking I could push it closer to the, ch the TNT to blow it up. Equality? No. No thanks. And now we can go. Going really well for speed. Speed is up there on how good we're doing right now. Since we're 18 minutes on the mom fight, so boss rush is super simple to get to right now. And I still have my sun card. Making it even better. Come on, cube meat. Didn't get much done with the cube meat, but oh well. And she's dead. 
Take that one. Take that. Book of Rev. I wish I could suck it. But I just can't. Which is really annoying. And I can't suck any of these either. Would I have wanted to, is the question. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, I would have. So this, I guess. It's not great, but it's the best thing I have. And I wish I could get rid of those rocks. And I can, but it's not worth it. Dude, don't you fire directly at me. I know it's the like best way to hit me, but still, it's cruel. Oh, you spawned those in front of you, you cheeky so-and-so. Stop it. Dude, he is being annoying. He's hiding behind rocks and spawning enemies, so I can't actually hit him. It's good tactics, but it's also very cheap. In my opinion. Might as well use this every time. It gets me consumables. And there's no negative. It doubles my flies as well. Cube of meat. Yes. Good. Good. Now, uh, is this Loki? So there are bomb flies buzzing past. Cube of meat. Good. This is either Loki or Duke of Flies. Or the husk. I'm pretty sure it's Loki. Yep. Loki. Uh, and I want to, like, hit him with my range to do as much damage as possible, but it's difficult because he's quite mobile and knockback is pretty good against him because he hasn't got much weight. Come on, dude. Weight isn't really a factor that's spoken about much in Isaac, in my opinion. Like, you never hear people say, oh, this boss or enemy weighs this much, so they're very difficult to kill, blah, 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 because of all the knockback. It's always, yes, give me damage, give me tier rate, and I'm a happy boy. Admittedly, I'm the same. But I just think it... Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was bad on my part. Cube of meat. Dude, don't jump. I need to abuse the cube of meat. Oh, use the range. Use the range. Get rid of that guy. No. Dude, it locks on, I swear to you. It has to lock on. Oh, God. I'm tempted just to let him hit me. I'm tempted. What's the other enemy? I can't retail. I think, yeah, I was going to say, is it the adversary? He hadn't shot at me, so I wasn't sure. And I was kind of thinking it could be the dark one as well. Oh, the cube of meat. So good. Oh my god, did I kill him or did you kill him? I couldn't tell. It was very close timing. Dude, could you just sit down? Thank you. Do that. Oh, the soul heart clutch. Thank you. Pit or peep, no. Peep, no. Okay, it's Monstro 2, plus Peep. Not my favourite two bosses ever, I will say, but he is dead now. Thank you, Monstro, for laser beaming his face off a couple of times. That was useful. Nope. That was lucky. I want to use the cube. The meaty, meaty cube. Ow. Oh, well. I was tempted just to run into him anyway to get the maximum use out of that. Since the womb is not going to be the fastest thing in the world. I was talking about you earlier, the stain. Hello. You just took that like a man. Well done. The other enemy must have a lot of health, because you can't be, like, high for health right now. Oh, God. Larry. Oh, I was doing so well. I was doing so well. At least I could do that. At least I could do that. Just waiting to get my next charge, to be able to double stuff and turn that into flies. Ragman. I've already spoken about you. You're not that much of a problem right now. Especially with my range. Maybe sticking with the range trinket would have been good. Because, did I have lumber coal when I had that? If so, I was kind of stupid to get rid of it. Do that. More red hearts. Don't care. Don't care. Don't like this guy, though. I'm tempted to get hit. Oh, God. He didn't kill the other boss for me. That was mean. Dude, kill the other boss for me. That's all you're good for. That's all laser beam bosses are good for. Killing other bosses for you in boss rush. Otherwise, they are useless. Oh, come on. Don't get the bounce off the wall. He got the bounce, but he wasn't a problem. Stevo. Don't like you. But at least you're not being super annoying. Come on. Oh, my God. I deserve to be hit by a spider. I pretty much was dodging into it. Please give me, like, one or two more waves. And no more. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't count the waves. I don't actually know how many waves there are. I know in Rebirth or Afterbirth there's 15 waves. 
every time. Ah, oh, the meat. Thank you, it absorbed the shot as well. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh god, I deserve to be hit there. I'm just gonna say it, I should have been hit. And I was lucky to not have been hit. So thank you game for being kind. You're not always that kind with hitboxes. I'm gonna say... Another battery charge. Sure, double it. Pretty fly, that's really good. Where did this come from? Oh wait, no, it's just my sun card, my bad. I don't like you, brownie. Flies, could you aggro? Jesus. Nope, dangle. There we go. Dangle, when he comes from that guy, doesn't have a lot of health. What enemy whistles? I can't remember. Isn't it just regular dingle? Yeah. Dingle plus brownie. It's a match made in heaven. Gonna be slightly tight on the next few floors, I'm gonna say. Since I still have no damage upgrades. Might give me one at the end, but still. This is the third wave of the two that I asked for. So, ouch. That hurts, game, that you didn't give me the amount of waves I wanted. Oh, this is a great place to stand. Gertie is eating it. Gertie is eating it. No, mask him with me. Go away. Go away. How do you have so much health, Gertie? I knew you were low. Oh, and that guy must have run into a lot of spikes. Yeah, I should probably just get hit by this guy, because he's going to be impossible to kill. I guess not. Oh, there's still more waves. Dude. Maybe chaos was the mistake of the run. Oh my god. Or it still could have been amazing, but... Okay, he went to where I was both times, I'm gonna say. Oh yes, the scissors! Yes, the safety scissors. They finally came through in the clutch. Dude, you need to go. You gotta go, though. Please. You gotta go, I've gotta go, we've all gotta go. Please end. How are there still more waves? Ow. Thanks, but ow. Yes! Cube of meat! Cube of meat MVP! Cube of meat MVP! Now, please, be the end. It's gotta be the end now, right? Oh my god! How is it not finished? I don't think I'm gonna make the hush fight, honestly. Unless the next floor is an XL floor, and I can just speed through it with my sun card. I have the mildest amount of mapping ever. I did skip the map earlier, but that got me Humbling Bundle, so I'm pretty sure that was worth it. I don't care what anyone tells you. Come on, please die. Please. I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited till the final wave. I knew it would be now, and it gave me something horrible, so I don't care. Okay. I don't think Hush is realistic. Which pains me deep in my soul. Scarred Room 1. Where have I got to go? I'm pretty sure it's going to be up, so let's just go up. That was good. Don't even care about the consumables, just... Okay, it's a red chest, you've got to check it. But yeah, just book it. Book it. Don't care. Just go. Just go. Pretty sure it's to be the right way. I could be wrong, but I'm hoping I'm not. Dude, pop up. You know what? Screw this room. I'm not going to do it. I'm just not. If you're going to be like that, please be the right direction. Still not sure if it'll be the right direction, but hopefully it will be. Don't like this champion. Don't put the flies on the explosive guy behind me. Nope. Nope. Okay, don't know how I got out of that one. But I did. Two hearts. Don't care. At least that was an ace of hearts. That would have been annoying. I'll do this room. I'll do it. I'll do it. Little horn making regular enemies much easier as well. I hadn't thought of that. Dude, you gotta go. You gotta go. I've said you're not much of a problem. Dude, what is your homing? How do I get your homing capabilities? Your homing is too powerful. <sighs> Please be the boss fight. Yes, there's a chance. There's a chance. Thank you, mapping. Just pop the sun card straight away on the next floor, please. Brain? <sighs> so bad. Cube meat is on the wrong side of me. Oh well. No. Health is lower, but I don't care. It's not, like, dangerously low. Just leave it. I don't need that. I wouldn't even care to suck it up. Chaos has not been that bombastic on this run. Okay, it's quite far away, and I'm not going to the reroll room. I'll say that for free. Will I be able to beat Mum in time is my question. Give me a bomb. Or give me the bombs. I should say. 
Usually the Super Patrol bombs give you two, but since I have Humbling Bundle, they both do now. Just bomb your way out. This room... Rooms of portals are going to take too goddamn long. Good cube of meat. That's good cube of meat usage. Thank you, flies. You're doing good. Grab them. Go. Should have gone the other way first. He almost sniped me. I've seen a YouTube video. One of my subscribe... Or one of my subscriptions, actually. Huts. When he did a run. And it shot. Got sucked in by a tractor beam and hit him. And... He just slow mode it, and it was so beautiful. Okay. Second secret room. I did kill them in time. This is bad. Just let them huddle around you. Blow it up. I need a Yara, please. I want to suck it up, but I want Yara. Hagalaz. Awaz. Algis, suck it. Don't care. I wanted to, like, suck up an item. And I got a damage upgrade out of it. So worth it. Ow. I should be able to get to the hush fight. And the algae will make it infinitely easier. I mostly took it for this fight, but this fight isn't going to be too bad, so... Use it on the hush. Use it on the hush. Jesus, this is an emotional roller coaster of a run. Okay, that was just a bad dodge. But she is now dead. Dude, you pushed... Oh, that was horrible damage. Thank you for giving me red chests. Oh, yeah, the bombs. Hell yeah. And the health is even better, obviously, but still. Whew. We made it. Give yourself a pat on the back. It was a bit... Of oh, it was so worth taking. Chaos. Wow. How much does this give me? Not as much as I spent. Oh, well. Sacred Heart. D but, uh, but, uh, I want both. I wish I could have both. Ugh. That would have been Bookworm if I took Book of Revelations earlier. Rip. Oh well. Don't worry about it. The Sacred Heart clutch from the shot. That's amazing. So I'm going to say about that. And I think I'm going to go Guppy's Tail. Guppy's Tail will actually give me some sort of benefit. I missed one, of course. So I've got to bomb it, just to make sure, you know. I knew I had a very low likelihood to be there, but still. I'll blow these up as well. This is wasting points, but... I'll get bombs back later. Probably not as many of us spin, but oh well. And these should pay out with nice amount of consumables too. Or items. No items, but it did give me consumables, like I said. <sighs> What's my range like? Testing. Pretty good, even with Sacred Heart making my shot speed lower. Since I got all them range upgrade pills earlier. Can it reach the hush? Oh, it's so close. It just about hits. Good. Sacred Heart, though. That makes me feel like it was very much worth taking Chaos. Plus, I got the Humbling Bundle, making it very much worth using Diplopia, since I wouldn't have been able to buy either of them otherwise. Now, when to use algae's? I think we use it when we feel most cornered. Which is right now, actually. But I'm not using it. Nailed it. Good dodges me. You're not always on your A game when fighting Hush. You're doing well this time, though. And I think I'm going to be going to Delirium, actually. Since going to the... What's it called? Shoal would wouldn't get me as many points from doing all the rooms, so... You know what? Let's keep algae's for later. I changed my mind. Let's get the maximum range bonus out of this. Might as well. And... It keeps me far away from harsh, making less likely, me, less likely for me to get hit. Jesus Christ. What is so hard about that to say? Go on, flies. Go, flies. You were just sort of huddling with me, so I decided to get you to do some work. And this is actually a pretty good hush fight. I'm still shocked about the Sacred Heart. It's been a little while since I've had it. I only ever get it on dailies now, apparently, since the last time I had it, I believe, was on a daily. I think it was also a Blue Baby daily, when I was like, oh, this run's not great. And then I was like, oh my god, Sacred Heart, this run is now set for life. Plus, I believe that's the only damage upgrade I've ever... Only damage upgrade item, I'll say, I've gotten on the entire run. 
The only other damage upgrade I got was from the void. Okay. How the hell did I dodge that? I'm pretty sure my Cuba meat absorbed a shot. Because otherwise I don't think I'd be able to dodge that. But thank you. Stand here. Can't quite stand on the wall. Where's the shadow? Stand there. That's the safest spot. Yeah, that's, that's what you got to do with these shots. you got to watch the shadows. Because that's where the shots actually are in time and space. Yes. Go flies. Ah, oh, damn it. Didn't quite get the Cuban meeting in time. Oh, well. Dude, stop. Haven't been hit yet so far, which is nice. I'm not banking on that to stay as a thing, but it would be nice, I will say. Oh, my God. Nice. Go to that. Stay about here. That's about my range, I'd say. Maybe a bit further, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. But yeah, still, so glad I made the hush fight work. Okay, stand slightly further back, because that's quite close to you. Okay. I don't know how that's not hitting, but it's not, so be thankful for it. <sighs> this is stressful. I've gone so far through the hush fight without taking damage, I'm like, I don't want to take damage now. I've gone attached to this hush fight. I've gone attached to the idea of not taking damage on it. So I'm just like trying to keep my distance. And it's kind of hard to see because of the coloration of the Sacred Heart tears. Like, it's kind of hard to see where I'm going past his tears. Nope, 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 nope. Almost slipped into one of those. But I didn't. This is the attack you got to worry about. Because, yeah, the beams... Come on, get him dead. No more hits. No more hits on me. Come on. There we go. One hit across the entire hush fight. That's pretty good, in my opinion. It's pretty good. Did I leave anything behind? I only left the Necronomicon, as far as I can remember, and I don't want any of those, so let's just leave. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think I'm gonna rank quite nicely on today's daily, as long as I don't die, of course. And as long as the Delirium fight isn't too awkward. But I just thought the Outer Druin is doubled lengthwise, I will say. Because, oh, that's so good. It would have been nicer on the last floor. But oh well. It's going to have doubled the time of which it will make me invincible because of Tarot Cloth. Which is insanely good. <laughs> yeah, these guys, not much of a problem with my Sacred Heart now. Thanks for the bombs. I was running low. The game's being so nice to me all of a sudden. Thank you. And the second secret room's over there. I have no idea where the hush fight, not the hush fight, the delirium fight's gonna be. <sighs> that was dumb. I was gonna say, let's try and take minimal damage across the entire floor, because it's a lot of points to lose. Didn't mean to do that. But, oh well. It got me a lot of things out of it. Go in here, do that. Double your friends again. It's not as good with the Void, obviously, because, well, basically, it's a lot longer to charge, so you lose a lot of your spiders and flies by the time you get it back, which isn't great, but oh well. How did you survive? I blame the wonky homing. What does this give me? Pretty fly. That's really good. I now have a full suite of orbitals. How lovely. Yeah, I said take minimal damage on the floor, and so far I've taken two hits across not that many rooms, and not uh, like any of the rooms, as far as I remember, were actually that hard. Oops. Plus this floor is basically, I not item farming, um, consumable farming. Oh god, can't tell when he's gonna shoot. Ah, oh, I think one of my little horn shots destroyed him. Thank you. Yeah, could you pop up please? Anyone? Maybe? Oh, I can get little horn to kill him. Sure, let's just do that. Wait for it. There we go. That makes my life easier. I'm mostly doing this to try and get consumables right now. Because that's what my void has come down to. Unless I find an item room. Well, not an item room, a shop. Not a shop, a um, boss room. Jesus Christ. I said every other place where you get guaranteed items. Admittedly, the shop. Not necessarily, because it can have greed and super greed. But still. Still. 
and you could debate about getting space bar items on your item room or um I'll open it. That was worth it. You could debate about getting space bar items on your boss rooms or your other rooms that I forget the names of, but oh well. Really straight away with you? Ugh. Ugh, so I can tell you, mate. Wait for it. Wait until you need it. You know what? Just use it now. And then just use your cube of meat to tear him up. There you go. I can actually out now see what I'm doing, which is useful. But I can't use my bonus from um, number coal, sadly. Oh well. Cube meat's probably more valuable, because then I don't have to worry as much about being accurate either, because I can just basically hug him. Yeah, this is definitely more worth saving the algae's room for, because I did not take, like, almost any damage on the hush fight, which is good for me. Oh, they're running into the cube of meat. Perfect. Ow. There we go. Still got the invincibility. Still got it. This is a good delirium fight. With this algae's rune, it might actually have been worth doing the delirium fight to get points, because it gives you 200 points for finishing it. Which, in my opinion, isn't worth doing for the hardest boss in the game, but oh well. Okay, it might not be worth it, because I just lost all my invincibility. Which isn't great. But as long as he doesn't telefrag or do any BS, I should be alright. That's not BS, that's him just running towards me. Oh, this is BS, though. She can spawn the shots on you, which are literally undodgeable. That was almost undodgeable. I ran towards him, and he instantly tried to absorb me. Which would not have been nice. No, mom, leave me alone. Wish I used the rune slightly later now. Jesus Christ, his shot speed. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. You lose about... I don't know. Over 100 points for getting hit on this fight, I believe. Something like that. It's pretty ridiculous. I haven't been hit so far, but I know at the end I'm going to get hit over and over. That's what happens to me on Delirium fights. I do well. Admittedly, I did have the room, but then I get hit over and over, I'm like, oh Jesus, it could have been so good. No, no mom, I heard you. Oh my god, I did it without getting hit. That was good. There's still spiders though, which is hard to see with this. There we go, 200 points of finishing. And now let's go do every other room. That was really good. So I didn't lose all that many points on the delirium fight, which is always what you gotta worry about. Don't open that accidentally. I will admit I was very close to accidentally opening it. So. Oh, God. So. Sit rep. Gets hit on relatively normal rooms. But on the delirium fight, he takes no damage. Admittedly, some of that is because of the algaes, yeah. But the ending is the hardest part of the fight. And I didn't use the algaes until... Well, I used the algaes right at the beginning. Basically is what I'm trying to say. So, the ending, I kind of had to wing it. So, I think I did good. Until I get hit on normal rooms. Yes, more bombs for me. Thank you. It's strange how confident I am to take that. Because it could accidentally glitch out or something. And be like, oh yes, by the way, you're hit now. And I'll be like, what? Oh, and I have homing bombs because of... Um, Sacred Heart, give me the homing. Very nice. Wish I had Mom's Key. Mom's Key would have been so good for these chests. Yeah, 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 you can actually now actually get to suck up items. Haven't I only done that, like, once or twice so far? Bookworm? Hell yeah. Took a while. Actually, no, that's really good. That's free bombs. Oh, that's amazing. I hadn't thought about that. Clever. Glad I decided to suck that up. That's highly worth it. I'm just gonna stay still and hope that... All my orbitals block the shots. Just so my shots guaranteed to hit. And it's working so far, I'm gonna say. It's working. That might be some of the reason why I didn't get hit on the delirium fight, but shut up. I wanna pretend that I was amazing. For once in my life. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. And I'll take bomb bags, that'll be a couple more bombs across the course of the run. Not many, but a few. It's better than nothing. Blow up these. You could get a good card. You could get a two of dot 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 card. And then it just doubles the amount of dots on the card. Badum tish. Awful jokes. 
come one, come all, and listen to my horrible jokes that can't really be classed as jokes. No little horn shots to destroy them. Oh well. And I've actually made a really good point gaining um, void, which I don't usually get. I don't usually seek out it to get points. Okay, I shouldn't be able to get hit by these because of my orbitals. Good. Hadn't thought about that. It was a good fight. These, like, PhD has been really good for this run. Not even just PhD, to be honest. And I'm not gonna take Key Bum. Key Bum's just not good. Sorry, Key Bum. You're good on the chest if I've got a lot of keys, because then you can give me a lot of chests to give me nice things. But as of right now, nah. Also, how much does Sacred Heart destroy your tier rate? Like, I don't mean literally destroys in get it to like 99 from being at 10 but sure I'll bomb these I have infinite bombs might as well oh it's homing in oops oops and thought about that yeah how much does it ruin your tier rate because I'm pretty sure it's only like one or two if you're at a five rate of fire so I've taken some extra tears up pills or tears upgrade pills and my tier rate is at six and not five I'd expect it to be at five but oh well, just doing this to get some cards, it could be worth it, the star's not really, but oh well, yeah it wasn't great, I'll do it, probably wasn't worth it because I already had max money, oh dude, he absorbed a lot of hits, my health is actually getting quite low, that was quite dumb to absorb all that stuff, but the bombs though, the bombs are insanely good from that. So I get two bombs per troll bomb and spawns, and quite a few spawn. Do this, maybe be able to get like a bombs key, which would actually actually be useful with all my current means to get bombs. So then I'd have lots of keys and less bombs. I should just let these guys spawn a load of troll bombs because I'm guaranteed to get more bombs out of it. Sure, spawn some bombs, dude. Shoot me. There you go. There you go. I just a couple more bombs. Mr. Mega, also some more bombs. And then a chest full of bombs. Apparently this is the room of the Pyromaniacs. And I'm already nearly at max bombs. That was fast since I got Aniskist's cookbook. Aniskist's as well? The moving box. Don't care. Honestly. Is it a good room? Yeah, don't stand near that. You're not immune to explosions, friend. There's a hanged man. Could have gotten the chest for free earlier. God damn it. I had a feeling that happened. Balls of steel is so good here. Thank you. Once I've done every room, I'll just stars to try and get closer to the exit, basically. It's the only real reason I can think of using the card. Moldy bread. I'm gonna suck it. Plus, then I get more bombs. Which aren't worth much at this point, but they're still worth something. So it's worth doing whenever I get a charge. Don't accidentally take that. It's not worth it. It's not worth. Since you'd either suck it up with the void and then nothing would happen. Oh, I tried to push it into the stuff to use that, but I forgot about my thing. Super bookworm. Does nothing for me right now, sadly. Guppy's tail's kind of been a bust, eh? It's not it's not giving me like anything amazing. It's given me a few more chests, I guess, but like I said, the chests haven't been great, sadly. More bombs that aren't worth much, but still more. Do that. Oh god, the bombs just zoom around the room because they're homing. Oh, that's weird. I love it. Sorry, war. What were you good for? Absolutely nothing. I could take this and get free bombed, but nah. That's guaranteed to get me closer, so take that. Because I'm worried about using it and not, not getting me closer. Sure, do that. Then do that. It's probably worth the bomb since I get so many. And it's free bombs now I think about it. Ah, oh, I think it exploded just early. If so, what a shame. But oh well. Damn it. Oh yeah, I don't even have to worry about getting hit because of my portals. <laughs> Oh, if only I had fast bombs, that'd be so good. Oh wait, no, I'm not immune to explosions. I just thought. 
I keep thinking I'm immune to explosions because of the sort of bomber man masks I have on. And because of the runs revolving around explosions right now. Also, that was bad damage. The butter bean. The butter bean. The, 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 the butter bean. The butter bean of all items you could have given me, you gave me the butter. Oh well. And now I think about it, it's probably not necessarily going to get me closer. Because the room in which would be closer is that. Or well, the room that I haven't. One of the rooms I haven't explored is already closer than the secret room. My bad. And now I've left the stars card behind. So I guess that plan falls by the wayside. Oh well. And I should be able to get one more charge. Get a couple more bombs. A bit more explosion bonus. A bit more. Or a few more enemies killed. And then we can end the run. There's a few more rooms than I expected. Yay! Oh god. Thank you, Cube Me, for absorbing all those shots. That's nice of you. None of these can explode the rocks or the skulls for me, sadly. Oh well. I would like a two of. Oh, that could be a two of spades. Please be a two of spades. Ace of spades! It's so close. Yet so far. That could have been so good. Um. Just use it here. As a fair few consumables. That's a good 150 points or so. And now we can end the run. It's a good run. I enjoyed it. And I almost walked into that red poop. Which would have been quite embarrassing. But I didn't. Yay. Bottom these quickly. Probably not going to give in anything great. But oh well. Justice. It did. <laughs> it gave me something great. Worth it. Tempted to open that. But I don't have an immunity. Or any sort of immunity. So I'll leave it. And I'm not going to bother exploding every rock on the floor to look for um, the crawl space. I just want to do that to get a couple more coins. And end the run. Where'd that come? Because I don't have a clue. 63rd! Wow, I'm getting more consistent apparently. Because <laughs> I went from being really good for a while to getting thousands to getting 60s again. That's good. Damage penalty less so, but still, I'm very happy about that score. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you did well if you played this day yourself. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.